editor. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Editor, please make sure to include this. <laughs> <laughs> this whole thing. Uh, I'm putting my headphones on. I'm holding the controller. He's not he's scratching his ass, so I don't sound as sloppy. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm ready to game. All right. My toes are crinkled. They're clenched tight. I'm in bed. Begin gaming now. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to get out of this. No, just pick it. The fuck? What did? I think he logged out, which oh, is fine. Oh, I, no. I hope he saved. I How did I do that? I wasn't paying attention. Oh boy, life sucks. Then, and you, then die. you die. Life dies, then you suck. We've been doing that more. What? The thing where we both say the same thing. <laughs> I mean, we've been in a house together away from everything else for like two it's years true. now. true. Ding Dong and I have been isolated. As you saw in the intro, we've been isolated from society. Why is it still playing the title screen music? Because it's cute. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Maybe it's intentional. Okay. But then why was it? Oh, whatever. Just shut up. Enjoy your time in yik. It's a video game. You're supposed to enjoy yourself. Narrator, tell me how I'm feeling. Oh. Feel nice. Why did it immediately fade away? Eh, don't worry about it. Did we did we <gasps> skip the cutscene by accident? I was having this recurring dream. Oh no, he's dreaming about her, I see. About a narrator telling me about a robot. It was a weird she's a woman made of plastic and we're watching her. Yes, we are. It's you and I. You, the viewer, watching this Let's Play. How do you feel about these earthbound noises just one for one being used? Are they really? They're not direct samples, but I can't... I, are, are they, they not? They? Some of them kind of sound like I wouldn't imagine, it. but it's very obvious that yes. he's trying to go for that, yes. Just how do you how do you feel about the earthbounds in general here? Because you have your phone saved yeah, system. Everybody's done it at this point. Yeah, it's true. It's weird to me because you'll hear people refer to it as like an Undertale thing now when it's like, no, that was... That's where you're getting it from the Mother series, first and foremost. Yeah. But yeah, it's true. You have a lot of Mother-inspired things Mommy! now. Mommy! Mommy, I woke up from a bad dream! <laughs> Why is the door closed? Mom, please! Oh, I guess, yeah, she's home now, I forgot. Yeah. <gasps> yep, that's the bathroom. <laughs> you don't have to remind me! Uh -oh. oh my god, you have a friend over! He's watching TV. Better That's why there's blue light flickering. Approach it very carefully. One of my favorite things is uh, like oh! being being out at night and seeing that blue light flickering from somebody's window. Isn't it nice? Nothing to see here. You're like, oh, they're, they're relaxing. But what about the weird thing I'm seeing there? <laughs> <laughs> there's something to that. I don't know if you've noticed. I certainly did. In fact, I've been trying to ignore it all along. Look, he added the, uh, the oh, alpaca the, over there. What's in the left room? Yeah, you're right. It's the alpaca. Oh. You see, there was a figure in my house. Yeah, there it, it is. It followed me around. It was lurking in the corner of my eyes at all times. Was this why my mood had been so strange? Whoa. Why I felt so weird since I last saw her. It's got a nice rack. No. I don't think that was it. Something told me the figure wasn't bad. It had been here a while. Haven't you noticed it? It had been here since I returned home from college. Maybe even before. No, you're lying about that. Is this the college monster <laughs> I read about? I think I needed to speak with it. It was materialized. It was no longer transparent. Was it an entity? Why the hell was it living in my house? Get out! I don't want <laughs> you here! Do you understand what I'm saying? Leave! Be gone! He screams a lot. Be gone! <laughs> My mummy woke up and she yelled at me for yelling. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, she opens the door crying and runs out the door. <laughs> huh. Let's have some broccoli. And now you have more people over. You're forming a family. Oh. oh I want to eat cookies. Give one to the alpaca. What are you doing? You look at an illegal copy of yourself. Do not gape in awe. Look, he has one wing, like an angel. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> you're Come so, on, you're can so you annoying. Leave? Come on. TV show. Do you even speak English? What to do, what to do. I thought he was going to say, what to do. 
See this, what do? Hey, Alpaca, why are you being such a dick? You look at an illegal. Hey, you already said that. <laughs> okay, I get guess, some new material. I guess we're going back to bed. Okay. Oh! <laughs> what's going on? What's oh going on? What's going on? No! This is scary. That did startle me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go in the backyard. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Would you be less scared what? if it was making like <laughs> noises as it followed like as you? It, only when it moves. Yeah, it's actually way scarier. Pure silent. If it was going, I don't think I would be very scared. <laughs> holding, holding its <laughs> Would arms you get out and clap your hands. Oh my god! Oh, there's a reason to come back here now. Now you can see its butt. Where do it be? Is this uh, like I've never played Earthbound? So do these things act the exact same way in Earthbound? Not really. No, it's just that there's some stuff that's just being lifted one for one from it here and there. Oh. You can see a lot of influence from other games in here. Yeah, Even this tool them. system you're using. Because, uh... It's uh, not from Earthbound. I forget the specific RPG it came from. You mentioned there was some Persona references. In yeah, there, there's a little bit of, like, everything. It, it's... It has a little something for everyone. The thing is, there's a difference between being inspired and then just kind of putting something in for the sake of putting it in, and that's what a lot of it feels like. It's just kind of there for the sake of being there. I like the overworld sprite. <laughs> that is cool. It's so cute. We get to go to the radio tower. Why did chase me and then run away? That don't make no sense. She wants to show you something. Those shadows really need to just fuck off. Look ain't at that. You, ain't you never followed a bemustached cat into the woods? A, Sal a Salvador Dali cat? Yeah. No. What's your favorite Dali painting, Chris? Do Dala. you like Dali at all? I don't even know which one that is. Uh, the elephants on stilts and the melting clocks. Oh, the melting clocks, I know. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, he's alright, I guess. I've seen cooler pictures. Of inflating bellies and such. <laughs> That's true, you want... It's kind of like the opposite of melting clocks. <laughs> you, want, you want surrealism, just get into the fetish scene. Yeah. It's not wrong. Oh no, Y2K is coming? Or that says Yak is coming. I can't tell. How are they doing it that? It does look effect? like Yak is coming. <laughs> Would you rather the game be called Yak instead of Yeek? <laughs> There's a Yak on the cover. It's a golden, golden Yak. Yeah, you can have a golden Yak. That makes alpaca. way more sense. Five dollars. It's the shaven yak from Ren and Stimpy. <gasps> oh. 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 oh, oh, you're trapped. Uh oh. Hit him with a cat. Couldn't do it. Yeah, no. I didn't think so. He broke, the... he broke your glass. He speed punched me in the face and broke <laughs> my glasses. Oh. <laughs> Why hasn't that happened to Alex in the story at all? He has glasses. Yeah. He can be crawling around like Velma. Yeah, I want a Velma moment with him. I want to hear him say that. Oh, the skull is more powerful. Oh no. He says, my glasses. I can't scream at you without my glasses. <laughs> Whoa. Well, never mind. It's not very threatening. Do you like that most enemies just always do the same thing? That's just physical damage and nothing else. Yeah, do I love they that. ever start to use like spells or anything only like that? Only a few specific enemies have options like that. And usually it's like one of the only attacks they have. The combat really feels incidental in this game. Like, it has to be there, it's an RPG, but you didn't really know what to do with it. Yeah, it might as well have just been a movie or I something. I was about to ask, is this one of those things where it would have worked better as an uninteractive? I think because of how it's written and everything, it probably could have in some cases, but still, there I, because it's flawed everywhere, I don't know. It's also so heavily influenced by games that'd be a little bit weird if it wasn't one. Yeah, that's fair. That's a good point. But the thing with turn-based combat, because I know some people don't like it, if you're going to be doing like action-styled games like these, you probably want them to be more interesting than this, or not have fights go as long as this. Imagine if it had, or a... at least have strategy. I like, was going to say, something. imagine if it had a really complex like mechanic system. Oh God, how is he so smart? Well, then that happened. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm just looking at my items. Do you like how they're not categorized in any way? It's Yo. just one gigantic list. Yeah, what's that about? I have no idea. I actually kind of expected him to fix that with the update. Look at this little guy. That's Ufo. I like him. Is he a friend of yours? No, he's just alien. Oh. Here, I'll try a new skill. I'll try... Uh, smooth Jazz. He puts target to sleep. 
I wish there was also more going on with these enemies. The fact that this is literally just named Alien, it's like, okay, I don't know, it's a random concept. It's pretty zany if you stumbled upon an alien, right? <laughs> oh, you sleepy sheepdom. Yay! How long is he gonna be sleep for? Okay. That, yeah, don't worry. That was completely worth it. Status ailments in this game are weird because they don't even feel like they're present. Rory has a skill, for example, where he's allowed to talk to enemies. And I don't know if he fixed it now, but in the original version of the game, if you talk to some of the bosses, Rory can have dialogue where he says something like, Hey, you shouldn't fight us anymore. And they go, okay. And uh, then they attack you right afterwards anyways. What? There's a lot of weird stuff like that where I'm sure he had an idea that he wanted to run with, but he didn't have time or he kind of forgot about it. It's a game that he feels like he dumped way too much into it, too. As in just like... Like a lot of starting points for ideas. The scope is too big, you mean? Yeah. Because, I mean, it is. This is a full-length RPG. I guess that's what's impressive about it. It's impressive he even got a game finished. It's voice acted. It's lengthy. And it's pretty. Having, there are, yeah, having, there are some neat visuals. Having a finished game that's pretty is uh, already an achievement in itself. Although, I will never get... It, it's so minuscule, but I'll never get over the fact that whenever he gets hurt, all of his colors invert, but then there's a block on his shirt where the little Two Brothers logo is. It doesn't change. You're gonna see it right here. No, no. he dodged, never mind. Yeah, I'm too good for that, so... <laughs> Sorry, I'm too good at this game. You don't get to see it. <laughs> here, I'll do it here. See? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. It bugs me. That is like it makes it a feel, separate object. Yeah, it, it's separate. And not just that, it makes it feel like as if he added that onto his shirt later. Oh, so later. That you were paying more attention to- Oh, no, I thought you meant like, oh, directing your- Oh, well, your, maybe that, too. Directing your attention- No, I, I, I think that's pretty unlikely compared to your yeah. idea that he added it later. Dodge! I love you, guys. Dodge! 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 I was trying to remember Ray Romano's name. My kids keep playing this yeek game, and I don't get it. <laughs> we were watching the uh, Dr. Katz episode he's in, and it's just very... I've never understood Ray Romano. I'm pretty sure we've gone through a couple of them. Yeah. One of them was just him going to McDonald's. He said, I went to the McDonald's and I ordered food and I didn't get my order right. And I said, hey, I ordered this and you gave me this. So then they gave me what I asked for and I left. And I the, went home and I ate I, it. And I was late when I got home. And everybody laughs raucously. <laughs> my feet hurt. My kids, they they got home from school. Oh, the kids. That's so relatable. <laughs> oh, my nuts hurt. It's because of my back. I like picturing that your spine is connected to your balls. It is, through nerves, I'm not even kidding. If your lower back is all fucked up, it connects to your nuts somehow, your groin. What do you think fucked up your back so much? You... Slipping a disc. When did that happen? When I was like 15. Oh no. I picked up a school bag that was full of bucks, and then when you slip a disc, your back degrades forever. It never gets better. Oh, that sucks. Are you gonna need a wheelchair eventually? Um, I don't know. I hope not. I have to just keep doing a physiotherapy to improve the muscles around my lower back. What if your spine comes out one night? Uh, I just- I, I get eye drops and pour them on my spine. <laughs> and I hope that works. That will grant it vision. <laughs> it'll start- it'll escape your body and, uh... It will do that. And attack people like the fiend without a face. Hey everybody out there, always lift with your legs or you'll fuck your back up and be in pain it's working at your desk. It's definitely yes. a good idea. Like, it's a thing that people always say, the idea of lift with your legs, not with your back. But you have to consciously remember that. Yeah, it's that. not really an intuitive thing. Most things that I are- I like how that thing is animated, by the way. Yeah, the, no, I think- The, like, teleporting. They're, yeah. They're doing some kind of, like, modifier where it, like, decimates his polygons. It's, it's cool. neat. Yeah. But yeah, th things that are good for your body tend to be very unintuitive. Okay, I was wondering if the song was still in. Good. This is actually a good one. This is the, uh, the Toby Fox one. Oh, is it? You recognize yeah. it? Yeah. He'll use sound fonts from some different games, and yeah, he uses the, uh, the Toho sound font. Oh, Toho. For some of it. What do you mean, the Toho? That's, uh, that's those Bullet Hell games. Oh. They're very popular in Japan. I want a sound font of the, the mod tracker thing. I don't want to use the mod tracker software because I hate using it, but I love the sounds that come out of it. Can Old, you like export them and use them in like FL Studio or whatever you prefer? Well, someone could just literally, yeah, they could make it into a sample pack somehow. 
but no one's done it, I don't think. And you don't know how? No. Uh, just use your deep dish. Or cheeseburger. I can have cheeseburger. Mmm. Not quite yet, Chris. Cat boy that Alex. wasn't a joke quite yet. Oh yeah, it's coming though. Hamster dance though. That was in. <laughs> Crazy frog. Can't wait. It's gonna be a big thing when it happens. It's gonna be big, was, big, big. I, I was just gonna say it's like the the, the Hercules joke. <laughs> the darkness is going big. I bet indoor plumbing, but the same thing, yes. <laughs> you know, these fights actually just suck dick because they're just doing the same thing no, over and over. No, it's the same thing. There's yeah. no strategy. I don't understand. You have skills, but almost all of them are worthless. Yeah. Music goes a long way for a game. I wonder why there isn't usually as much emphasis on game soundtracks. Because music generally is lame. Nobody likes music. This is true. And usually someone is talking over the game when you're watching it on the internet. Exactly. The music just gets in the way of that. I've studied music. I've studied it in, in the New York School of uh, Music, and mm -hmm. uh, I learned that music... Is like sounds that it's go just, into your It's just ear. fake sounds it's that make you... stupid. Makes you step your feet to the beat. <laughs> makes you step... <laughs> stupid. All the professors knew it. They all knew they were scamming us. They all knew deep down, music is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> we do it for the money. There's just people banging pots and pans. <laughs> a caveman hit a rock and he thought he he really stumbled onto something with that. He thought he was real clever, didn't he? This okay. Um, I hate this game. This sucks. <laughs> the fact that it's just more. wasting my fucking time. Look, look at this crap. I really wish there was something to the combat in this because that really could go a long way. A lot of your playtime in an RPG is dedicated to the combat, so if it sucks, you get to have yeah. a really lousy time playing through a game. It's just, he's just padding it out. This just sucks. This isn't good. I mean, I think since the beginning you could tell it's just there for padding. The idea that the game itself had to say out loud, "Yeah, let's go grind." You should see later where the whole the the challenge they introduce is you take damage by walking, and so you just need to constantly. <laughs> Yeah, there's a there's a sequence where you're forced to take some damage uh, in a part. That sounds shit. I never like when a game does that. Come here. I hate you. Uh oh. I guess I kind of get it with an RPG because you are supposed to be like managing inventory, so damage is supposed to be inevitable, even if you're like. Skillful. But then there's no challenge to it because they're just handing you free healing items. There needs to yes. be some kind of like. I don't know. This is a question that I've always not really had an answer to and I want to figure it out considering we're making games and everything mm -hmm. just the idea of like if resources are given to you right when you need them it doesn't feel like challenging no the fact you're that, not like, you're not problem solving or thinking or like trying to manage a, an inventory that in a Zelda game that like you know there's healing items right outside of the boss and everything like stuff like that I, I feel like there's gotta be it's cause it, it's 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 depending on what you want to get by doing something like that are you giving somebody like that like an item like that just so you're conveying to them what they need to do next are you trying to assist them and give them an easy time or are you giving them stuff like that so they have to actually pay attention and utilize it later and be like clever about it yeah i get why that stuff is there because you don't want to get into a situation where you're stuck either yeah i couldn't imagine life if i hadn't so i don't know how to handle it maybe there wouldn't be life. or dead end a player because you're bad at conveying things what do you want me to do with this I knew music. what the entity wanted. <laughs> wanted me to play the record, to drop the needle, to broadcast the lush, to thump the bass, this masterful LP for the world to hear. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. I didn't know that exactly, but I had my suspicions. There's nothing here. It's empty. <laughs> hey, not my fault. You're Do really you know pissing me is? off. Does it have to be this record? What about one of the others? Jesus, why, why are relax. You screaming? <laughs> oh my god. Does it have to be the one that is just all of the characters from the game on it? Oh, great. Now you're mute. Look, I'll swing into town in the morning and see if they have this record, this mystical Ultima LP legend or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's mystical multiple <laughs> whatever whatever puts it on it's that should be his catchphrase whatever. like squall so you just whatever. followed the entity to a radio tower a few miles from town what is wrong with you I Ooh, wouldn't have done that, that stop berating me you teddy bear <laughs> stop this <laughs> like morbid 
curiosity. Maybe muscular Alex strangling panda instead of Rory. <laughs> he can just strangle everybody. <laughs> I like this stupid cover of the theme. <laughs> that it's like kazoo. Yeah, it's really dopey sounding. I think that's a good idea. Think anyone really wants to talk to you after that stunt you pulled? Hey, easy. Why are you always trying to make me feel bad? I'll Do you think he did this to him when he was a child, too? You'll we'll see. Probably that he was like five years old and Panda was like, You can't read yet. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone.